everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is Anna and my channel is about everything that inspires me classy style travel shopping beauty and so much more today is another spring day and I have a topic that I want to discuss with you I am ready for the day dressed today I'm wearing my new striped top from H&M I've shown you this top in my first H&M spring haul uh, this year and I think that it's just an amazing basic piece from H&M uh, this season and this uh, shirt is a cotton shirt from Abercrombie and Fitch uh, I believe they do this uh, where the logo is here uh, I believe they do this um, kind of shirt each year it feels like spring this shirt for me feels like spring and each year during the springtime I get it out of my closet and I give it a lot of wear the hair that I have today is a result of heatless overnight curls that I have done and I feel like I'm starting to get better and better in doing heatless overnight curls but I'm still not very good at sleeping comfortably with them because now uh, the thing that I have for heatless overnight curls is like a very very thick and it doesn't stay in place at night it moves on my head and it, it's really not comfortable so I don't know maybe I should buy another one which is going to be softer and it's going to um, to to be more comfortable to sleep with it we'll see but i like the result because i like that with this uh, thing uh the curls are not too tight they are loose and that's the way i like them what's new in our life we have booked a little weekend trip and we're going to spend a weekend uh, on the baltic sea here in poland we're going to go to gdansk and sopot we really didn't plan it ahead and i'm very excited to have this small getaway and to discover new places I haven't been to and just have a change of the scene and while thinking about the things that I need to pack for this trip and get ready for this trip I thought that I'm going to just need my hand luggage and my hand luggage is my Louis Vuitton rolling luggage and I thought that this year is exactly five years uh, since I uh, have purchased this uh, luggage and I thought that it would be a really good idea to do a review of this Louis Vuitton luggage after five years of use. I thought that this topic could be really interesting for people who are considering purchasing this piece of luggage from Louis Vuitton, what you can expect from this bag after five years of use, my overall impressions and just feelings about this bag. So as I said, I purchased this luggage five years ago. It was in March 2018 in Barcelona in Louis Vuitton. And since then, I used this piece of luggage quite a lot. During the COVID period, obviously I didn't travel as much, but before COVID, I used to travel like once per one, uh, one two months. And after that, we had our wedding trip and our honeymoon trips and I used this bag quite a lot. So I can definitely say that it's fair to make a review of uh, this uh, piece of luggage at this point in time. So let's start with the name of this piece of luggage. Uh, this piece of luggage is called Valise Cabin Horizon 55. That is the name of, of it on a Louis Vuitton official website. 55 is the size uh, of this bag. They also have 50, 70 and I believe even something bigger but I'm not sure and well my size is 55 this is the biggest size that you can have as a hand luggage uh, on the plane my bag here is in classic toile monogram it means you have this classy Louis Vuitton monogram in uh, brownish colors you can also have this monogram luggage but in black and gray I think they call it graphite monogram I think you can also have the same piece of luggage in like plain black and I believe pink and orange and also you can have uh, it uh, in a Louis Vuitton pattern you know the the square one and the square one you can have both in brownish colors and in gray and black but in my opinion this is the best because it is the classiest and it is not going to go out of style out of fashion it's it's a timeless Louis Vuitton uh, Louis Vuitton signature look and uh, you know those uh, squares that used to be so trendy uh, by Louis Vuitton in like 2000 and 10 to 2012 I think uh, 2000 and 
14 still. Right now, I don't feel that they are that much in uh, at the moment. I feel like monogram is always there and it's better to stick with the monogram. Here we have four wheels. On each wheel you have a Louis Vuitton monogram and these wheels are very, very good, very high quality. Obviously, they never broke. They roll so nicely. Like, I don't even have to hold my luggage uh, that much. It just kind of rolls by itself. It's so easy to turn it around. It's it's just perfect, If especially if you're a girl traveling alone. It is so much more comfort to have um, a piece of luggage which rolls easily around the airport. You can hold your bag like this or like this on this side. You have a zip here obviously, at the end of a zip you also have a Louis Vuitton monogram in here. Uh, then you also have a lock with a code which is handy. Uh, also on the back side you have, this is some kind of a metal structure. I still have uh, the plastic, you know, this wrapping that they put on a on a bag and I still haven't removed it because I just didn't feel the need to remove it, but I can. And so here on the back of the handle, uh, you can see the scratches that have appeared uh, during this five years. And I don't feel like this is huge and this is something that bothers me. I feel like this kind of, uh, this little damage that the uh, bag has got is really nothing. So on this side there are some scratches and on the other side as well a little bit of scratches in here. Uh, the handle looks like new completely. And then on the handle you have uh, a name tag like you can put uh, you can write your name and your phone inside. I haven't written anything and here you have your Initials. Uh, these initials are put here by Louis Vuitton free of charge. You can choose uh, the color of your initials, like you can choose whatever you write in here with dots or without dots. I chose pink color and I loved this personalization service that they offer, uh, that they offer to you free. Uh, of course after you pay for the for the luggage and on the front side you have these patches here the stitching uh, on the patches is yellow and the stitching is done perfectly nothing has happened to the stitches over time but um, this, the, there are some really tiny scratches in here but there are also some tiny stains on this um, on these patches and also on the name tag and I know exactly how these stains appeared here and it's it's ridiculous but it is plain water. A few times I have noticed that I have spilled some like tiny droplets of water here on the uh, on the bag or I was uh, walking with it under the rain and after some uh, droplets of water got on this on these pieces of leather here and here the stains seem to stay and they don't go away but I feel like that's okay it doesn't look really too bad it even gives uh, this piece of luggage more of a vintage look the used kind of look but when it comes to Louis Vuitton or also brands like Hermes uh, the look, the vintage look and the worn out used look is something cool and it's nothing to be ashamed of and that is not that much of a used look yet. I'm not sure you can even see the tiny scratches. You can see, you can see the Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. So yeah, my, my piece of luggage is made in France but on their website they write that they also uh, do um, their luggage in Spain and I think in Italy and in the United States. But I was lucky to have mine made in France. I also have to mention that uh, I really didn't risk it with this piece of luggage and I didn't uh, use it that much without a protective case. So uh, you uh, also have a protective case which comes together with this piece of luggage and it looks like that. Nothing special about this protective case, it's just brownish and what you do, you cover your um, suitcase with, uh, with this case and it feels protected, you don't scratch the beautiful Louis Vuitton leather when you put uh, your suitcase on the shelf in the plane and 
uh, or you're putting it in a taxi somewhere this way is going to last so so much longer so yes as I said this case comes together with a suitcase you don't have to uh, purchase it additionally and you use it whenever you want to protect your bag better and uh, let's let's open the suitcase and see what we have inside well inside the bag looks exactly like new nothing has been damaged inside nothing nothing changed inside when I open the suitcase it looks this way it has two big compartments and one small uh, I will I will put it on my knees because it, it's a little bit heavy by the way yes I wanted to mention the the dimensions of the suitcase the size of this suitcase is 38 by 55 by 21 centimeters so it's exactly the size of the classic hand luggage for the plane and the weight of the suitcase is 3.2 kilos which is not super light but because if you have all this leather and the structure I feel like 3.2 kilos is okay and it feels quite light in your hands I also wanted to mention the price of this uh, hand luggage at the moment of the suitcase and right now you can purchase the suitcase in Louis Vuitton in Europe for 2500 euro which is already a little bit more than I paid for this suitcase five years ago so as with other brands uh, in Louis Vuitton you have the increase of prices which is kind of understandable I guess if everyone does it uh, they do it too and I think I paid 250 euro less five years ago but you know I do not I do not regret this amount of money for this piece of luggage at all I feel like this suitcase is the best suitcase that you can find out there where if you want to have something classy timeless fashionable of great quality you know i feel like louis vuitton is the best i'm not a fan of those metallic um suitcases that are popular right now i think the name of the brand is renova or remova i i'm not sure but i just think that their look is is plain and there is nothing special about it but Louis Vuitton obviously is super super special so inside the first big compartment looks like that and on the other side you have two uh, comp compartments with the zips the first one opens easily with the zip you can put your clothes in there that's what I usually do and this small compartment out here I feel like it's good for some papers if you want to put like or maybe your documents like some small really flat things and well that is everything about this suitcase that I wanted to show you I will put it on my knees for you to see the leather up front like to see that it really doesn't have any scratches zero damage has been done to it. If we didn't have any stains or tiny scratches here or on the back on the metal, it would really feel like new. And in conclusion, I would like to say that I really, really love my suitcase. I really don't regret purchasing it. And if you have been thinking about purchasing a piece of Louis Vuitton luggage, I think uh, that you should go for it. If you have been considering buying it and you were thinking, is it worth the money? Is the quality, is go is the quality going to be good? I think it is worth the money and the quality is super super nice I hope their quality didn't um, decrease during these five years uh, I really like the personalized service with the name tag that they did overall the customer service in Barcelona boutique was really really good I feel like that was the best customer service that I experienced in Louis Vuitton uh, in Europe and overall you see i'm really really obsessed with this suitcase i'm loving it if you have any questions about louis vuitton suitcase please write them in the comments below i will be happy to answer you and i guess that was it for today i will make sure to film content for you when we go on our weekend trip to gdansk and to sopot i think it's going to be really a fun time and i really want it to be a relaxation time i don't want this weekend to be really hectic i want it to be a weekend of self-care and relaxation just enjoying time with with people that i like spending time with and that was it for today thank you very much for watching if you like this video don't forget to push the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and i will see you very soon bye